What is going on, creative warriors? I hope you're doing really, really well today. I am excited. Amanda and I are moving in just a couple days here, so we are kind of packing. So our, our room's a little bit all over the place, but we are excited to be moving into our new spot. But today, guys, today we are talking to Marion and Marion Hobson, and she is a uh, she's a coach, an internet marketer, and just does some incredible things around your life. What's up, Trish? Uh, come on in, guys. Everyone watching, go ahead and say hello in the comments so I know that you can see me, that you can hear me, because sometimes the audio doesn't work. So just let me know you can hear me and see me, and uh, super excited to, to be on today. So I'm going to be talking to Marion today, and like I said, Marion is, is one of those really cool coaches out there who I absolutely adore, um, because Marion works a lot with entrepreneurs similarly to me, um, who are really in a place of their lives, and I'm going to invite her at the moment as well, who are really in a place in their lives where they are just simply not um, able to give everything to their business. Uh, thanks, Megan. You're so sweet. They're not able to give everything to their business because they are um, kind of feeling a little stuck. Like most of life is just kind of stinking and they just got a lot of things going on. So um, there's just a, an abundance of ways that uh, that Marion gets to help them out. And so I'm hoping Miss Marion can jump on here in just a moment and then we'll party. We'll have a little siesta. I saw siesta is when you sleep, huh? But uh, we're going to have a little party and it'll be really fun. So hoping, who? Oh, let's see. So she's, cool. So we're back. So anyways, super excited. So Marion, let's see if I can find her here. So, excuse the technical difficulties here for a moment. Let's see if I can start this up again. So, well, you know what, guys? I'm just going to talk. What's up, Trish? I love it. Well, I'm going to talk for a moment while Marion's getting on uh, about redefining high performance. That's been something I've been really excited about lately. And while Marion's navigating her way here, um, something that I've been really thinking about a lot lately, and I'd love to hear if, if for those of you that are on that want to hear even more about this, um, I'm thinking about probably doing a series on it, which is just this idea of high performance, especially in 2018, and this idea that we're trying to live high performance lifestyles. And I think for a lot of us, it's like, I'm already kind of at my wit's end. Like I kind of don't have a lot more bandwidth to be able to now try to kick it into a hundredth gear, right? Like kick it into 10th gear um, because we're already living really full lives. And so to then try to crank it up another degree um, isn't always beneficial or really sustainable or even possible long term. So uh, there she is, Miss Marion. Marion, I'm going to invite you in. Hopefully you can uh, can jump on in. So I invited you to watch. Let's see. So here we go. I think she's here. I think she's here. Bring Marion about redefining high performance guys but I'm super excited to talk more about that and about us really looking at how are we finding sustainable ways for being high performance so miss marion when you're able to make it on here it says adding 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 it's flashing so marion i'm so excited um and i'm excited for those of you watching what's up oliver good to see you brother i like seeing your name pop up makes me excited so and trish walker by the way you are looking stunning i love your photos they look fantastic yo I love that, Oliver. Yo, yo, yo. So it still says adding for Marion. So there she it is. It did not like the, the angle that I had my phone, apparently. It wouldn't yep. accept it. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. She's here. I love it. Yay. There we go. Marian, We're set. What's up, Stella? Marion, what's your favorite book behind you? My favorite book behind me? Well, that happens to be the row of lots of favorites. So. Um, let's see, I can see Anne of Green Gables, which was my youthful one. And then uh, that's my childhood section, right? <laughs> I think, oh, I um, 
Les Miserables was high school. My very favorite one right now is not up there, which is by Brene Brown. I've been much more into audiobooks recently and Taming the Wilderness and um, Liz Gilbert, Big Magic. That's a huge one for me that I listen to over and over. That's awesome. Cool. I love that. Well, Miriam, as you were just jumping on, I was just introducing you a little bit. So guys, Miriam and I have known each other for a really long time, probably three or four weeks. So right. um, extended. Yeah. <laughs> Of time. But Miriam is just such a cool woman and she's doing cool things that are really similar to the kind of work that I do. So I figured how awesome would it be for my audience to get a taste or a flavor of somebody that's doing similar work, but potentially in some in her own flavor in her own ways. In fact, we were just talking about her webinar she was doing the other day, which is about tying your shoes. What was it called? Untie your shoes and unleash your magic mojo. I love that. Untie your shoes and unleash your magic mojo. Like, couldn't we all use more magic mojo and a little bit less in terms of having our shoes tied? I mean, couldn't we all right. have a little bit, a little Rigidity bit more? and following all those rules. Not for me. <laughs> That's awesome. So, well, so Miriam, I know that your work revolves heavily around that, around rules and around not following the prescribed rules and really throwing those out the window and finding your own rules. So I would love to hear, just to get started, I would love to hear what brought you to this place now where you've been doing this for, it sounds like close to a decade, maybe even over a decade, did you tell me? Yeah, well, doing this flavor of it for the past three years. But That's I have awesome. been coaching for about a decade. Yeah, right at that. And I did it all wrong and tried to do it the way that everybody told me I had to do it um, for the first several years, got myself, like you talk about, burned out completely and going, why is this not working? Constantly going, ah, this is, you know, this is way harder than it should be and I'm not getting the results I want. And the crazy part about it, Matthew, is I have had six-figure incomes in several other businesses. And so that's why it, really bothered me that this coaching business was yeah. making income, but not making the kind of results, even though I felt like I was following the steps that I felt followed in all my other successful businesses. Yeah. So what was it? I'm curious. This is actually, this is awesome. What was it about coaching that was like, wait a second there, like there doesn't seem to be a prescribed way that actually always works. Right. Well, the, the key for me was discovering that I was selling myself, so I really had to be myself and not be the cookie cutter of everyone else. Okay. And that, that took a long process, and it, and it fell into my lap in a very surprising way. I, was, I had actually shut down my coaching business, quote, unquote, which I did more often than I should have. <laughs> And, um, and a friend of mine said, you know, Marion, I think you should go check this guy out. He's a weirdo. He's strange. But uh, actually, I don't think it started that way. It started, she was in this program that was such a weirdo thing, discovering herself. And I said, you're crazy. <laughs> and yeah. she said, yeah, I know. But the next time I talked to her, she started talking about how she understood herself and why she had been sabotaging herself, how she had been sabotaging herself. And that was at the time that I um, had closed my business. And, and I said, I need to know more. Yeah, I don't want to go to your crazy program. You and I just sit down. So I hired her for a coaching, couple coaching sessions. And um, I was still, all right, thanks. Got it. I, I know myself now. A couple coaching sessions, I'm done. I got it. <laughs> And, and no crazy program for me. I don't need that. <laughs> and a couple months later, I've reopened my coaching business. I'm, I'm still struggling. And she said, hey, the guy running my crazy program is going to be a guest speaker an hour or so away. You should come hear him. Sure. And I heard the divine call when I was listening to him speak. Just took a few moments. And I said, this man is crazy but there's something about what he does that I need to know about. 
And there's something about what he's going to teach me that is the key to growing my business. And that's what it was. I spent three years in his crazy program and really uncovered why working for myself and selling myself was had to be done my way. And I had to acknowledge my sabotage strategies, but I also had to use them to grow my business. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, actually brings us to you and I getting together today. Um, one of my magic mojo powers is that I am an initiator. And I, when I feel that oomph uh, to, to do something, I jump at it and do it, right? So for instance, Friday, I, rem I was reminded, hey, I need to post about Matthew's live stream, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and my, my power is go do that. My shadow side is that I don't always pay attention to the details. And so sure. I posted the wrong time, the wrong, you know, the wrong name of your group and, and things like that. And, sure. and I, this program helped me to realize, oh, I do that sometimes it's going to come up. I don't have to kick myself in the butt. I don't have to close my coaching program. I just have to say, <laughs> oh, it showed up again and move on, right? Yeah, that's outstanding. I love that. And I think that, that is, that's, I think, a huge portion of, of the work that it sounds like both of us do, Marion, which is just to um, take the pressure off. And I was even talking just before you jumped on about redefining high performance uh, and it not being <laughs> Um, the pressure cooker, because I think we're already feeling the pressure cooker. And so right. it's like, how can we take the lid off the pressure cooker rather than like turn up the heat even more? Because I think high performance can tend to actually push us towards burnout even quicker. Um, so allow ourselves to have even less pressure. So I'm curious, how do you, what's the work that you're doing with clients now where that kind of, where that plays into, into it and how you're helping them find their, their style, their flavor? Right. Well, <laughs> part of the reason I call it my magic, your magic mojo, is that I work with them. We we find the 12 shadow figures, what I call archetypes, and the 12 oh. magic power figures, right? And, cool. and we name them often after something, you know, uh, for instance, one of mine is Dorothy. And so I, her, her shadow side is, is she acts lost all the time, right? But when, just like Dorothy in the movie, when she figures out that she's in control and she's doing it, bam, it works. And she has that magic to get home by herself, right? <laughs> she uses the tool she has. And so a lot of what I do is help people to see, hey, where they're holding themselves back and where they can jump forward, leap forward by turning on that magic power in, in a fun game sort of way. I love that. I think, you know, it's funny you bring that up. I, I feel like we can never use enough gaming. Like, you know, gamification obviously was a big thing, I think, just a couple of years ago in Silicon Valley and stuff when they were making new apps and all these things. But I think any time that we can bring play and laughter and joy into the work that we're doing, it's... Oh, it just like completely changes the game because it allows our nervous system to actually wind down a little bit and not be on the right. defensive, right? And it just allows us to open up and be more receptive and be more open to possibility and even to transformation. Like how many times do we stop ourselves from transforming because we're so like clenched up and afraid of, you know, what's going to happen. So I love right. that you and So that's awesome. And what, so I'm curious, what other sort of avenues are like what are, what's one or two tips that people could walk away today? So for the folks watching right now and even on the replay, um, what are some tips that people could use today to start having a little bit more play or, or be using their magic mojo a little bit more? You know, one of the, you, you said something really key, which was we get defensive, right? And, and, and when we're defending ourselves or trying to protect ourselves, we are the farthest away from our magic mojo. So the very first thing is to pay attention 
to when you are, you know, they call it reactive, but when you are defending yourself, um, you got to stop. You got to say, okay, I'm doing the opposite of what I need to do in this situation. Right. And, right. and a lot of times that means rolling your shoulders back and taking a deep breath. Because most of the people that I work with have a warrior energy system. Mm. And so, like you said, they're going at it in that high performance way and they're yeah. taking a charge because they're being defensive. But if you roll your shoulders back and just take a deep breath, it's like, huh, I got the power. I'm letting them come to me. I'm letting everything come to me and I'll take it one step at a time. Yeah. I love that. That's so good. That's so good. And and are there people that have troubles implementing that even of like even taking the time to breathe or remembering to breathe? Or is that usually, is that usually good like, enough for most people? Everybody, me included, <laughs> you know, everything we teach, we have to implement ourselves. <laughs> and And that's why I have a coach. And that's why I, you know, set up systems. So I have to go through these exercises right yeah yeah see i think for me that's that's the biggest thing is like i love what you said in, in systems like that for me is like because personally i don't remember to like breathe i don't remember just like on the off spontaneous chance that i'm feeling stressed i don't think like <gasps> okay like it's <laughs> time to breathe i but but i like what you said about setting up systems because my thing is when i'm giving energy then i'm allowing myself, even if it's just three or four minutes, but every time I have a big output of energy, like right after this, I'll probably then take, you know, five breaths, but it has to be this almost proactive approach to it. I find, and like, I like that you're talking about even having a system to it where it's right. Because sometimes, you know, and, and we use as much awareness as possible. Right. But then to have those systems to back it up too is right. it's the combo you know of the two. Right. You know, Matthew, one of the things that I find that uh, a lot of people that I work with struggle with is like the endurance, you know, um, uh, keeping it going until you've actually reached the goal kind of thing or the long term goal. And so, yes, there's the philosophy of breaking it down into short term goals. But even more than that is. OK, is creating something that you know you can accomplish mm. whether it's i'm going to go to the gym three times this week yeah at the gym i am going to walk on the treadmill 15 minutes you know it's something that you know you can accomplish and then yeah. adding to that for instance i had this goal well, to to learn more endurance in my life and i wanted it to play out in my business but I set it as a physical fitness program first. And my long-term goal was I had never run like competitively or never anything more than run to the car and back, you know? Um, but I, my family did, my brothers and sisters and children all ran. So uh, my goal was to run a 10K and I gave myself 12 months to do it. And it started with tiny goals. I would run a mile. I would actually, it started with, I would run a minute, walk a minute, run a minute, walk a minute. Now I'm running a, a 5K in 30 minutes. My, my goal was to run a 10K in, an, in under an hour and 15 minutes by the end of April. And I'm almost there. <laughs> The end of yeah. April of 2018. But, but my point in bringing that up now is that when you have those big goals, when, when you set something that you know you can accomplish, getting to those big goals seems more doable and less stressful. And, and then you do what, this is the main reason I brought it up. You come into that system. Now going to train and lift weights four days a week is easy. You know, 10 months ago, I would have never believed it. I <laughs> am running a 5K this morning. I ran, you know, it was cake because I set up a system and worked through it gradually. 
love those systems. They're so good. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like, I feel like when we start to think of them as like, how can I make this as sexy as possible, then they can be fun, right? Like, that's but right. so arduous and horrible otherwise, right? So that's right. awesome. I love right. Well, so, so Miriam, this is awesome. How, well, a couple things. Um, number one, for those who are watching right now, go ahead and post your questions and people on the replay, post your questions. Miriam and I will get to them uh, as soon as we're done with this. And then, so there's that. And then where can we find out more? Like, where do we learn more about you? How do we contact you, Miriam, if we want to know more about Miriam Hobson? Oh, Matthew. <laughs> Well, the, the best way to do it is um, go watch my webinar, which um, nice. the rough draft version is up now. If you go to webinar.profitonfire.us, you will see the, the, I will be broadcasting a new live version um, this week, and sure. I'll give you updates if you register there. Um, and that's the best way, because awesome. I... I love to talk, as you can tell. <laughs> and so that that's the, really the best way to connect with me and find out about me. I don't have a really great website, but that's okay because it's not my magic mojo. It will get there eventually. Yeah. Heck yeah. I love that. I mean, hell, girl, I created well over six figures for like three years without any website. So that, yes. yeah, I mean, you Yay. really well. So that's yeah. awesome. Love it. And for those of you entrepreneurs that think that you do, you don't. So I think that's awesome. And, and the, the webinar, that's awesome. So people go check out her webinar and we'll post, can you post that in the comments below, Marion, for people to go check I out will. as well? Sure. Awesome. I will cool. type that in. Do I, do I need to do it now before you end the video? Oh no, we can do it later. Just when we're done with the video. Okay, you good. Can go I can just add it. Okay, great. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Well, thanks so much, Marion. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, have a fantastic rest of your week. It's Monday. Let's kick some butt this Yay, week. Yay, it's done. Almost for me. <laughs> Very close awesome. to being done. Awesome. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks, this was fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>